The Ministry for Fisheries and Aquaculture has postponed the announced uh, closed season. The Sector Minister Elizabeth Afoluki announced this decision at a stakeholder meeting Friday afternoon. Let's listen to her. We will not do it this year. We will do it next year. So we are giving you one whole year to think through and prepare yourselves, prepare your minds to do it. Let not any Ghanaian, let not any Fisher, let not any Mr. Quick, let not any Mr. Foreni, let not one of the CSOs that's involved in uh, pushing this closed season. Uh, thank you for making time to join us, uh, Mr. Mensah. So what went into the decision to postpone the closed season to next year? Okay. So the, the minister announcing the closed season uh, used a lot of uh, agitation from fisher folks. So uh, most of the fisher folks um, had to petition the, the presidency. So one, they raised a, a number of issues. That one, they do not or uh, they are not against the decision or the idea of a closed season because it's one of the management tools to ensure um, replenishment of the fish stock. They also acknowledge the fact that um, there has been a, a decrease in fish stock because um, the level of the attack had gone down. And for that matter, they accept um, any decision of a closed season. However, they raised a number of issues. One of the issues that was raised was the short notice that was given by the minister in terms of um, the closed season. So they complain about the short notice, which was about two months or less than uh, two months for the minister to announce a closed season on the, on the 7th of uh, August. Two, they also complain about the lack of um, consultation um, about uh, uh, the, uh, the ministry not consulting them enough uh, in terms of taking the decision on the case with uh, The third one was the lack of um, uh, an alternative livelihood for, for uh, the Peter Pope who would be affected by the, 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 the case in policy. And um, also the, the, the fact that a number of um, um, the fishermen had already gone on the cruise season, so you have you see the tallest um, get a mark on the cruise season. So the fact that they are going on another cruise season also meant that uh, most of their workers will be sent home. So these were some of the agitations that the fisher folks um, presented to, to to the presidency. And I think after a number of consultations with the minister, um, the presidency also acknowledged the fact that they should be the cruise season. So for that matter. Um, the policy has to be um, postponed to next year. However, before the next year, there should be uh, a number of consultations. Um, during the time the minister announced the, the postponement of the solution, um, the fisher pools that were present, I mean the Ghana National Sanitary Fishermen Council, the Ghana Insure Toilet Association, um, the Insure Association, were all at, at a meeting where the minister announced it. And one interesting thing some, that came out was that they were going to ensure safe compliance. So now that the criticism is off, they are going to ensure that their members adhere to the policies or the rules of the fishing industry. So they are not going to encourage any member who embarked on any uh, illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing activity. So it's one of the encouraging things that's coming from the fisher folks themselves. And we as a civil society organization, as we have all, always done and we will always do, will provide a platform for governments and the fisheries associations to um, uh, negotiate and talk. Now, Mr. Kwame Mensah, you, uh, the CSOs have been pushing for this. Are you disappointed that we're having to postpone it? Um, the CSOs we, we presented, so there was a, a report by the uh, Scientific Technical Working Group. So what we, we did was just provide um, a platform for um, fisher pools and the government to embark on it. So when the decision was announced, we, we, we also 
complain about the short notice. So for that matter, that was where we came in and provided full support for the ministry to embark on intensive and comprehensive education and engagement plan. Yes, for us, we are not disappointed because we see this as an opportunity to do more engagement because the announcement by the minister for the close season provided a lot of opportunities where issues that had never been discussed were discussed for the first time because this is the first time the fisher folks have come out to accept that they, have, they, are facing, they are facing challenges about IEU. And for that matter, they are going to ensure self-compliance. So for us, it provides an opportunity for more dialogue and it creates a platform for us to also um, delegate and negotiate on what to do in, in terms of ensuring that the embark of self-compliance. And also on the line right now is Kinsley Atukujo, who is a Deputy Minister for Fisheries. He's joined us. Now, you government was bent on making this, uh, implementing this close seizing. Now, it turns out that you're having to postpone it to 2019. It would certainly affect the fish stocks, which is one of the things you are pushing to implement. Hello? Hello, sir. Uh, you, uh, oh. Are you talking to me? Yes. So I was done, I'm done with Kwame. I'm saying that government yeah. was seeking to implement the closed season. Now you're having to postpone it to 2019. I'm saying um, the question is, how is it likely to affect, affect the fish stocks, which was the reason why you were going to implement the closed season? Yeah, thank you very much. I think that uh, whilst we, it, it, it's quite disheartening that we have to come to this position, knowing that uh, the level of stocks of fish in our waters have gone down very much. We are also happy that for the very first time, we have been able to take a, a very strong political position to declare a close season. How be it, we are not, we are going to have to postpone it. And there has been general acceptance among fishers that this decision be taken and be implemented. Uh, we have postponed it the next year, but we are all, I mean, at the, at the we all have agreed that we have to be very rigid with our enforcement and to reduce, um, to ban if we did immediate effect all forms of IEU which have contributed to the decline in fish stock. So, yes, uh, we still are worried about the level of fish stock, but we believe that with fish enforcement and then a ban on illegal, unreported, and unregulated fish activity we may be able to uh, protect the situation a little bit um, before we get to next year for the implementation of the closing. Now, are you having to take this decision because of the politics around it? There could be some political fallout. Uh, not, not at all, not at all. You know, uh, when we announced it, we said that we are going to consult uh, and we have been consulted, we have been engaging with the fishers. Almost every time we're on the way, on the move, we're engaging fishers. And we have collected a lot of things. In fact, a lot of opinions have expressed. But one major thing that came through is that the fishers have gone to banks to borrow money. And they have invested in their uh, business, expecting that they will have a good cash in the month of August. So closing the, the season, I guess, is going to affect them economically. And this, uh, in fact, that is a one single major, there have been a lot of reasons, like, but this is the one single major reason that we decided that we need to allow them uh, the space to be able to recover whatever they have invested this year. And moving forward, we will implement it from August next year. And look, we are postponing by the August to state. So uh, if, if for politics, then now we prepared our implement it this year because next year will be getting close to election year and then um, that is where you want to you don't want to take for courage. But due to the, the situation that we are in, the critical nature of the declining state of the fisheries, we need to do this. And we'll do it come I guess next year. Right, thank you very much. <coughs> Kinsley uh, Atukujo is the deputy fisheries minister. Thank you for making time to speak with us. In